this video will be about the fabrics and the items that you need to make a vestment set. You need two and a half yards of fabric and lining. I gave this one as a simple sample because depending on the repeat, you might need to buy more. This one doesn't have a very long repeat, but it goes from here to the top of this one here. So you want to center the cross, and if it has a very long repeat, you're going to need extra fabric. Then you need an envelope, which will go on the back. This one just happens to have, I don't know if you can see, it's a lamb. You can have whatever emblem you want on the back. You might want to change the configuration of your cross to make sure that your emblem fits. You'll need uh, crosses. I use four inch crosses on the burrs and on the chalice veil. Not necessarily this particular one. That's the four inch. There's a three inch, which would go on uh, the stolen maniple. And then a little one inch cross. You can even make the one inch cross if you want out of the trim. And that goes on the top of the maniple and the stole. You're going to need fringe, one and a quarter yards of fringe. This is a shorter version of one. You can use whatever kind of fringe you want. This is a three inch fringe. So it's very more, it's decorative and you'd use this perhaps on the first class piece, but maybe not on one that doesn't need trim. This would be an example of that one that's not a first class feast because it doesn't have trim all the way around. The first class feast has that one half inch, that half inch trim all around the pieces as well as on the chasuble. So this is one example of a half inch trim. This one is particularly easy to go around the corners because it has a little wiggle. Whereas this is, which is a half inch, is a, a little more difficult. It will obviously turn and go around, but it is a little stiffer, so depending on what you're making and how much experience you have will depend on whether you want to use a stiffer one or one that's a little, has more wiggle room. So you need, you need 19 yards of the half inch trim if you're making a first class feast. If you're not, you don't need any of this. This goes around the, this is for the cross, right here. Here's the, you do a cross in the, on the back, and then you do lines on the front. I just don't happen to have one, picture of the one on the front. But this is the one and a quarter. This is nice, it doesn't move doesn't wiggle back and forth. It's a little stiffer. And this one here you would have to make sure that you sewed it by hand in place all the way around before you even stitched it on. So it would depend on your ability to sew. You also need, um, let's see, 14 inches of one quarter inch elastic. You need a piece of linen to do that piece that will go around the neck, about 22 inches long. So it could be, you know, three and a half inches long in the 20, it go 22 inches across. You need four yards of half inch twill tape to put the tie so the vestment doesn't fly off in the front. Oh, I didn't tell you, you need eight yards of the one and a quarter inch trim. So I'll go over it again. Two and a half yards of lining in the fabric, an emblem to put on the back of the chasuble, four crosses for the stolen maniple, two one inch cross for the top of the stole in the maniple, two larger crosses to go on the burse and the chalice veil. You may choose to put Make the crosses all the same size. It's up to you. 
one and a quarter yards of fringe, eight yards of one and a quarter trim, 19 yards of one half inch trim, 14 inches of quarter inch elastic, all the protector for the neck out of linen, tool tape, oh, and then the last thing. You need a piece of maybe canvas, not too heavy, not too heavy. You want the vestment not to look saggy. And so if you put something like this, I don't, you just, every time you go to the store, they have something else on stock. So if you want, you can use horse hair, or you could use some kind of light canvas, and it'll give body to the vestment so it always looks um, not stiff, but not flimsy. The halfway point. Good luck, good sewing.